I'm so excited. Okay. Oh my gosh, I got a bonus. It's so cute. They're all they're all so cute. There is dirt everywhere. And I lost my scissors. Hi guys, I just got a box that I ordered in the mail. So this is from the company Succulents Box. So this company is from California and they were established in 2015. The reason that they're called Succulents Box is because they were originally a subscription service. So you could get two, three, or four random succulents sent to you every month but now they let you order individually without subscribing to the monthly delivery, which is awesome because they have really good prices and really good succulents. So I don't remember what I ordered. I know that I ordered some because they were having an Easter sale where if you buy three, you get one free sent to you. Um, so that was our little Easter deal. So I decided to get it. That was the first sale that they had had since I began looking at them. Okay, so they're packed very, very well. They have um, packing peanuts and then each one has a little bubble wrap case. Okay, there's a card. Um, care instructions and a 15% off discount if I want to order again. Please carefully and gently remove the packaging. Don't put plants in sunlight immediately. They need to be acclimated. They want dry temperatures and in the summer only water the plant every one to two weeks, which is how most of my other plants are. So, Here's one, really, really good packaging, which I expected. I feel like most plant companies probably package like this because you have to, especially since succulents are so fragile. They aren't, they aren't fragile like they'll die easily. They're fragile in the sense that they lose leaves very easily. If you bump them, they might lose a leaf, which isn't a big deal that's how you propagate them but people typically don't want that to happen okay the packaging is is so good that you can't get into it Whew, there's dirt everywhere okay finally got the first one undone this is my little um gift that I got for free. I don't know what it is. It looks like a zebra aloe. I already have one of these and it looks kind of like that. There we go. I'm kind of surprised that they send these with dirt. Most succulent or plant places send them bare root because they don't really need to be in anything for shipping. Okay. So, like I said, I don't know what this is. I will put whatever it is right down here. <laughs> Next up, this should be one that I picked out. Ooh. I remember this one now. Okay, this one is shipped bare root, which is how I thought all of them would be so hard to get this open without crushing them oh my gosh I got a bonus these are moonstones and they're cold I'm kind of feeling bad that I left them outside I don't know why they gave me two they were not supposed to but I am perfectly fine with receiving two because I'm super excited about them these guys, they're a little green right now because they're so young and the fact that they've went four days without soil or water or anything probably doesn't help that. But when they're healthy and they're adults, they turn very, very bright pink and I'm super duper excited. 
So, yes, I'm happy. Next up, looks like this. It's kind of a littler one. This is a bear paw plant. And I'm really excited for this one as well. So this is a variegated bear paw. Huh. They also sent me two of two of this one. So this is the main, this is the main plant. And <laughs> this is the little baby. So they look like bear paws. They have little have little claws on them. They're fuzzy. They're so cute. So the difference between a variegated plant and a regular plant is a variegated has different phenotypes mixed in. It has plants that look different and are different colors mixed together. So like moonstones for example there's pink ones there's purple ones i even think there's some blue ones and so i got the pink ones because that's pink's my favorite color and this is what everyone thinks of when you think of a moonstone but if i got a variegated one it might it might have a plant like this and each one of these would be a different color because it's a bunch of them mixed together so this you can kind of see has stripes because it's a yellow and a green one put together so the regular ones that are not like this have they're mainly just green when you get regular ones and the claws on them the claws are a reddish brown color kind of like this color and they have little ends that go across them but this was the only one available and I've wanted one of these forever and so I just got the mixed one so that means that this one has to be my cactus. I got a thimble cactus. These are also super cute. Oh, found another <laughs> bear paw leaf. When you see that this has happened, it's not the end of the world. That's why I don't care that this has happened because I can plant this and it will give me a whole nother plant. That's what propagation is. You can do it with any succulent. You just rip one of these off or if it falls off, put it in dirt, leave it, and it will make a whole new plant for you. So it doesn't really matter that that fell off. Okay, this one came in a pot, but I'm taking it out to show you guys because I'm gonna repot all of these anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Okay, this is a thimble cactus. It's called a thimble cactus because if you look at the top of it, it just looks like a whole bunch of little, little thimbles. The spikes or the spines point towards the plant. So like you can touch this and it's not gonna stick me. There's not much to tell you about this guy. I really like how it's like this is one plant but look at all the little clusters like that's this is the only cactus that i know of that does this typically you would have one of these guys and that would be one plant all of these are two inch plants um obviously the moonstone they gave me a two inch and then they gave me a bonus little baby and um same with the bear paw this is actually bigger than a two inch definitely this is like a three Three and a half inch I got that and then I got the little bonus baby this guy is probably honestly smaller than a two inch he's really tiny but it's okay he's a plant he'll go great in my little tiny planter and then this guy so and that's that's it I'm not sure if this was a video for my vlog or a video on its own if it's a video on its own Hope you enjoyed it. I love plants, <laughs> all kinds of plants. I love them. Um, so there will probably be more of these happening in the future. I'm not sure. But as far as Succulent Box goes and the brand, I think they did a great job. They got out here very quickly, came in a cute little succulent box. All of these plants are super healthy and I think that they're all gonna do fine with the repotting system and being here with you know a new owner sometimes they don't do very well switching soils or anything like that but these are all extremely 
extremely healthy plants. So I'm excited. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.